He may be better known for his work with French TV these days, but former France international Sebastien Chabal's impact on the game of rugby in the past 15 years has been, like the man himself, immense. Adored for his unique looks and charisma, Sebastian lived up to his caveman nickname on more than one occasion. In this video, we reveal some of the Frenchman's most epic moments on the pitch. From bone-crushing tackles to mind-blowing tries, you won't want to miss any of this. After suffering a shocking defeat at the hands of eventual third-place finishers Argentina on the opening night of the 2007 Rugby World Cup, France were up against it and needed a strong performance against Namibia to bounce back into contention. Added to a French crowd bang for blood if the home team didn't perform, the France team came out firing and totally demolished a Namibian team that were down to 14 men after the 19th minute. Chabal played a big role in their 87-10 victory, scoring an absolute ripper of tries in the process. The first of his two tries came when France were awarded a penalty close to the line, and some quick thinking from scrum half Jean-Paptiste Elisalde put in a neat cross kick for Chabal to collect and fall over the line. The second of his tries put the first one to shame. It came from a close to 60-meter penalty kick attempt by the Namibian fullback Loster. The kick fell short and France returned the ball with interest, rapidly getting up to the halfway line and creating a fast second-phase ball. After swinging it wide, the big caveman received the ball well inside his own half and took off, sniping through the tiniest of gaps and showing superb acceleration that most people didn't know he possessed until then. Leaving the Namibian for dead and brushing off three would-be tacklers, he charged over the line for what is already one of the best tries of the tournament. Before the 2007 World Cup, Chabal displayed a similarly stunning performance in a tournament warm-up match against England at Twickenham. The former number 8 scored a 70th minute try as France beat England 21-15 in the match. Chabal, who had come on as a replacement, piled through three England defenders to clinch the match, leaving all in his wake and smashed through two tackles, showcasing his upper body strength in the tackle. The English team failed to deliver a morale-boosting success on their Twickenham farewell as 2003 world champions due to being stung by this late try. A key element of what made Shabala a terrific player was his bulk and ability to snuff out any attacking threat. At 6'3 and nearly 115 kilograms, Shabal packed a punch and, with that, floored Leinster's Jamie Heaslip with ease during the 2010 Heineken Cup campaign. The opponent, Leinster, got their campaign off to a positive start as they beat Racing Metro 38-22 with a stylish performance in the Pool 2 opener. Leinster scored five tries, while the visitors only managed one in what was a fascinating and enjoyable game to watch. Both sides bashed each other on numerous occasions, with French tallyman Sebastien Chabal putting in the first big hit of the match early on. It was Jamie Heaslip who was on the receiving end as Leinster started well with a series of picks and drives before releasing the back. By the time it got to Heaslip out wide, Chabal had lined up and put in a quality tackle, smashing back the British and Irish Lions number 8. Perhaps the most famous Chabal tackle was his effort against the All Blacks during a test match in 2007, when he temporarily knocked out future racing 92 teammate Chris Masso. Masso was lined up and unceremoniously floored by Chabal, and when he finally tried to get to his feet, the rugged Kiwi staggered around like a newborn deer. The best thing about this massive hit was that it was 100% legal, as he lined him up beautifully and nailed him. The clip of the tackle was shown repeatedly on New Zealand TV and quickly attracted more than 200,000 hits on YouTube, making the Frenchman an overnight sensation. This tackle set a precedent for future appearances and gave Chapal a fierce reputation on the field. In the second test against the All Blacks in Wellington, Chabal etched his name into folklore with another trademark carry, this time flying straight into second row Williams. Chabal made a full go at All Blacks Ollie Williams, resulting in Williams breaking his jaw in several places after attempting to make the tackle. This charge put Williams out for the entire Tri-Nations as he underwent surgery a day after the incident. The crowd loved it, and when Chabal was eventually taken off in the second half, the Wellington public gave him a standing ovation. This second incident changed Chabal's destiny in rugby and gave Williams a new name, which is the Broken Jaw Guy. Another epic moment was in 2013, when Chabal, then 36, was playing for Lyon in the French Pro D2. The fiery number 8 unnecessarily took offense to Marc Giraud grabbing him and delivered a cracking punch to his opposite man. Giroux hit the floor out cold, but luckily escaped any further damage, while Chabal was lucky just to receive a yellow card despite continuously pleading his innocence. 
There was some debate at the time as to whether it was an open hand slap or a punch, however its effectiveness was never in question. The iconic Frenchman received a three-week suspension for the incident. It was the most talked about incident at the time and the nadir of Chabal's career before his retirement a year later. That's not all. The caveman had an epic moment during his game against the Pacific Islander in 2008. He picked up and drove back big Fijian number 8 Sisa Koyamaibele as he charged ahead. Shabal is known for putting in the occasional storming run or crunching hit, and as far as textbook tackles go, this was one of the best we've seen from the enigmatic Frenchman. During his days at the Racing Metro, and in a match against Perpignan, the Chabal team went down 23-16 to their opponent, but they managed to pick up a losing bonus after a late runaway try from Chabal. Perpignan had possession with time up on the clock but coughed it up when going for the scoring pass, allowing Racing to pounce and setting everybody's favorite caveman up for the 70-meter sprint. A fairly feeble attempt from Rudy Coetzee gave him the space to get going, but the gas he showed was reminiscent of the two great tries he scored in the 2007 World Cup against Namibia. When Biarritz faced Munster in the 2010 Heineken Cup campaign semi-final, Imanol Horonordequai had something rather peculiar attached to his face. Sebastian Chabal has something to do with that. Hari Nordique broke his nose when playing against Racing Metro in the top 14, leading to him being a doubtful starter for the big Heineken Cup home clash with Munster. News stories reported that it was a clash with Sebastian Chabal. It was really a clash on the field, but it was anything but deliberate intent from Chabal, as it was simply an unlucky knock that occurred after a good drive off the base of the scrum. Seeing the outfit on Imanol's face, one doesn't need any telling before knowing how severe the unintentional knock was. Unarguably, one of Chabal's most epic moments in his career occurred at the 2007 World Cup. Already the most talked about player in the World Cup, Chabal added more intrigue to his character when a reporter asked permission to pose a question in English. He shot back at the English journalist, We are in France. We speak French, okay? Then he walked out of the room, leaving his inquisitor quivering in their seat. This action of his generated a lot of controversy, with some terming it as pure arrogance, whereas some other people see it as pure comedy. With that, we round up our exploration of the great French back row player. Every moment of Chabal's career is a testament to his passion for the game and his ability to leave everything on the field. Which of these moments do you find most epic? Let's know in the comments section. Thanks for watching this video and check out the next one on your screen.